Well, tonight we meet two separate groups of people in our community that almost never find a common path. But love is bringing them together, and it's giving some new life to some very special kids. Yeah, children with special needs now competing in races, even marathons, thanks to people who just wanted a running buddy. This week we pay it forward to a group called Push to the Finish. Every weekend during the summer, runners hit the streets for charity races, raising money for a lot of great causes. And on any given Saturday, we witness moments of victory. On this day, a little girl, unable to walk, is pushed in a 5K race, and despite the pain, is able to stand and walk across the finish line on her own. This moment happened because of Andrew and Michelle McMahon, the founders of Push to the Finish. You'll see children with their hands up as they cross the finish line. It's a nonprofit organization that teams local runners with disabled children that are unable to run or even walk in a race. Surprisingly, Andrew and Michelle don't have any family or friends living with special needs, but they were inspired by the story of Team Hoyt, a father who has pushed his disabled son through hundreds of marathons and triathlons over the years. I'm all for giving. I'm, I'm the person who wants to give money to every charity that you, know, you can ever see. So he's like, why don't we start our own charity? They created Push to the Finish three years ago. And now they have more than 100 runners and families involved. Uh, we've pushed over 300 children nationwide. We've eclipsed over uh, 600 miles that we've pushed kids. Special kids like nine-year-old Reese Thorne. <laughs> Reese lives with cerebral palsy. All right, Reese, look at that. Yeah. Today is his 50th race, all thanks to Push to the Finish. You know, I think it makes life so much better. Even though Reese can't communicate, his mom Carla knows how happy he is when he's racing. He can say to him on race morning, it's race day, and he gets so excited. When their life expectancy probably isn't going to be what every other child is, you want to live every day to the fullest. For the anonymous runners pushing these kids, they happily take on the challenge. You going out and running is one thing, but you going out and trying to push an 80 pound kid on top of maybe a 30 pound wheelchair or a stroller is a big difference. Push to the finish not only teams up runners and children, they pay for the children to race. It's obviously a registration cost for these kids to participate. We have had race directors ask us if they can uh, waive our cost and we always pay the full cost for what the race is because we support that cause. Maybe we can help Andrew and Michelle's push to get more children across the finish line. So we brought along Marshall Papke from Mountain America Credit Union. Andrew and Michelle, we're very excited to give you, uh, pay it forward and give you $500 in cash. So thank you very much. Thank you very we much. Now remember, push, push to the Finish does not organize its own races. What they do is they, they organize runners and children and hook them up, piggyback onto other charity events. They're actually participating in one this Saturday in Harriman. I have a feeling they're going to get a lot more volunteers <laughs> to run, too, after this story. Andrew and Michelle, they want to get more families with disabled children involved, and they can always use more help and more donations if you'd like to get involved. We do have a link to their website at K.